Hey guys, it's Tyler Stroik, founder and owner of Tennis with Tyler. So today we are going to be going over how to hit a serve. If you guys follow these simple and easy steps, you guys will be able to hit an effective serve. As always, if you guys like and want to support this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe below. So the number one thing that you want to think first during the serve is you guys want to be going up. You guys want to be fully extended at contact. In order to get the ball over the net, I have to go up while I hit. So the first drill that I want you guys to be doing is I want you guys to toss and freeze at contact. Notice when I freeze at contact, I'm fully extended, I feel a stretch in my lat, and I'm high-fiving the ball. My palm is to the ball. You wanna high-five the ball when you hit. So once again, you're gonna toss the ball, go freeze at contact, you're gonna make sure that you're fully extended and your palm is to the ball. So here we are. So I'm going to just line up for my serve and just freeze at contact, fully extended. Freeze, fully extended. Palm to the ball. Just wanna put my palm to the ball and freeze at contact. Here we are, let's do three more. One, two, three. High-fiving the ball. What a lot of players do when they hit is that they hit super low, which doesn't allow them to get that height that they need over the net. So once again, you guys wanna be fully extended while you hit. So after you guys learn proper contact, then I, what I want you to do is I want you to separate your serve into two parts. Number one, just like we worked on is contact. And then after contact, you guys wanna come down across your body. So once again, I want you guys freeze a contact, just like we did, but then after that, come down across your body. By following through, this will help you get the ball in the box. It will also help you get power. So here we are. So the second step, you guys are gonna freeze a contact, but then you guys are going to follow through across your body. Here we are. So I'm going to freeze, follow through. One, two. Making contact up in front, coming down across my body. Here we are, let's do three more. Two, and three, and I'm fully extending and then coming across my back. Notice, when I come across my body, I can almost catch the racket under my opposite arm. You guys wanna fully swing across your body. If you guys wanna really exaggerate your follow through, that's another drill you can do. So you can toss, freeze, and then come across the body and catch the racket under your arm. So here we are, I'm gonna toss, Freeze, catch under my arm. Two more. Freeze, catch under my arm. And one more, I'm gonna go up, high five the ball, catch under my arm. So we first worked on freezing at contact, then we worked on freezing at contact and following through. Now I want you to add one more step and that is the pronation. By pronating your wrist, by snapping your racket down, it's going to help bring that ball down into the court. So. Here we are. So you're going to toss, you're going to freeze a contact, you're going to pronate your wrist by snapping your wrist down, and then you're going to follow through across your body. So once again, I'm going to toss, high five the ball, snap the wrist, and then come across my body. One more. I'm going to go up, high five the ball, snap the wrist, and down across the body. So here we are. So going to high five the ball, snap the wrist, down across my body. Two more. High five the ball, snap the wrist, down across my body, and one more. High five, snap, down across your body. So those are the three steps of the serve. Once again, number one, freeze the contact. Number two, snap the wrist. Number three, come across the body. So then once you guys get that, I want you guys to just speed up all of the steps. Just make them more fluid, put them all together. So you're gonna to toss, snap, follow through. Just make it more fluid. So here we are. Two, and three. So once again, by just putting all those steps together and speeding it up, you will be able to learn the proper swing path, contact point, and snap on the surf. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments below. And happy hitting and have a good surf out there. See ya.